when I got here, I made I made a statement that God had sent me to heaven before I died, and I called it Seattle, Washington. <laughs> In Seattle, there's a place called the Central District and it has an extremely rich African-American history. And the story needs to be told. Seattle's central area has been one of the most amazing uh, international uh, incubators of American culture. We've had musicians such as Ernestine Anderson, Jimi Hendrix, Quincy Jones, Ray Charles, and Sir Mix-a-Lot is from there. The everyday people that uh, move their way through business. I think that just having something from the black perspective is important. Just having the space and knowing the knowledge that that came from your community is important. The story of the Central District is the story of one of the funnest, most amazing, and colorful places, unfortunately, losing a lot of its color. You know, not, nothing I've ever noticed in life before, again, until I've actually witnessed it happening, and I'm like, well, this is how it goes down, you know? When she moved out, that was it. Like, damn, like, this is, this is really going down. So the community was destroyed faster than new communities could be created. African Americans are disappearing, literally. So with the community leaving, so does the businesses that cater to that. And so it's like, where do I go? Just imagine being ripped from your memories and your home and your friends and family, you know? You're digging the soul out of the earth. And you just can discard us like it doesn't matter. You can cry tonight, but in the morning you're gonna dry your eyes and you're gonna get up early and you're going to press on. People wanna do their part to, to rebuild. I haven't given up. So that's hope, that's hope for me. You know, can we, can we, can we say, hey, I don't want that to go there. I want this to go there. And people have a say so about what goes down. I get this sense, you know, that we're gonna work out our issues. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. And, uh, cause I'd rather be hopeful than, than negative and depressed. And, and uh, there are things that give hope. And there, there are reasons to, to feel like not all is lost and things will be all right.